With high expectations and eager eyes fixed on the field, the fate of American women's soccer appears to delicately rest in the hands of a mysterious figure about to take command. However, the big question lingers, who is this enigmatic person, and how will they shape the future of US athletes? An announcement promising to shake up the sports scene is on the horizon, and the answers will only be revealed in due time. And if you're a devoted fan of the US WNT and want to stay informed about the latest news from our beloved team, don't waste any time, subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Here, you'll find daily updates just for you. Let's go to the latest events. In the United States, the focus is on a select group of candidates who could become the next coach of the USWNT. The expectation is that this chosen individual will take the reins by December's camp. According to Matt Crocker, the director of sports, whoever is elected will be the permanent coach, eliminating the need for an interim coach during the upcoming Olympics in Paris next year. I'm excited about the quality and caliber of the candidates we've attracted, Crocker said on Sunday during a roundtable with reporters before the USWNT's game against South Africa. If that weren't the case, maybe the conversation would be different. But looking at the candidates we're in detailed discussions with, I'm really confident we'll get the right candidate to take us forward. Following the World Cup, US soccer and Vlatko Andonovsky went their separate ways. During the tournament, the US women's national team experienced their first elimination in World Cups or Olympics, being defeated by Sweden in a penalty shootout in the round of 16. In this context, while the rest of the world showed significant progress, the US WNT often appeared disorganized and hesitant. Furthermore, they struggled to maintain possession and finish, challenges that persisted during the Tokyo Olympics. There was definitely a feeling that we needed to improve with the ball and have more solutions, especially in the build-up of the attack, Crocker said. And when we face a low block, we have the ball, and there's a defense of five and a deep midfield, having creative solutions in those tight spaces and having the players and tactics to break down the low block. Director of Sports, Matt Crocker, is in the process of reviewing the U.S. Soccer Federation, aiming to establish a unified culture and style of play across all national teams, inspired by the successful model of Spain. He is also in discussions with players to identify desired qualities in a head coach, someone capable of building strong relationships, making bold decisions, and communicating them clearly. Furthermore, Crocker is restructuring the women's program, eliminating individual general managers for each team, and the head coaches of the men's and women's teams now report directly to him. These changes aim to bring consistency and a shared vision to all U.S. soccer teams teams, preparing for significant events such as the 2026 Men's World Cup, the competition in the 2027 Women's World Cup, and the 2028 Los Angeles Olympics. The goal is to maximize performance at the highest level, both for the US WNT and the entire federation. And now, US WNT fans, I want to hear from you. What's your opinion on these statements from Matt Crocker? Share your thoughts in the comments. I'll be back with more news for you at any moment.